Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review Applied Data Science with Python specialization from University of Michigan, available at Coursera. So this is part of the reviews of different Coursera courses. I wanted to have a look at this course because it's also in top 10 and it's often compared to IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, uh, which I will compare that with. So uh, let's have a look at this one. It's basically five course series. Um, from University of Michigan and the idea is that you get into data science uh, learning various techniques and so first of all general remark is that it's a little bit more advanced than IBM data science it's going faster you're going much deeper uh, so it's probably recommended for people who already have taken some other courses in Python at least uh, to start with because it might be just too hard for you at, in the beginning and it seems like uh, especially judging from different comments that it really is going fast especially with some of the assignments so that's something to, to think about. In general the idea is that you learn basics on how to manipulate data, how to plot data, uh, go into machine learning, go, go into text mining and then do something with social networks. So if you have a look at each of the particular courses, going down below, the first course is Introduction to Data Science in Python. And if we were to look at this in particular, then basically uh, this course is about learning how to clean, manipulate data, open CSV files, do something on it. Uh, and it's like the standard techniques in Python. So uh, this is basically uh, going great. You learn data frame, you learn other things that uh, are of course useful. Uh, so there's nothing to add here. But if you look at the comments then, especially from other people taking this course, then it, it can be, so for example, this one, super hard course, I enjoyed it, but the thing that I didn't like, especially when this is supposed to be the learning phrase, the assignments were hard and sometimes pushes you to look for the solution. So, and there are a couple of things like that uh, in general. So probably that that's why uh, it's it's not the best idea if you are just starting to, to take this one. Uh, and maybe there's a course called Python for uh, Everybody, I guess, or uh, from University of Michigan. Uh, I will review that as well, but that's probably th the best way to start before going to that course. When, if you were to start with IBM Data Science, then actually you get all the knowledge uh, from that course. But on the other hand, IBM Data Science is nine courses, this is five courses. So... So that was the first, the first course uh, in this series. Then if you have a look at the second course, it's Applied Plotting, Charting Data Representation in Python. And basically it's all about uh, visualization of data. So let's have a look at this one uh, in detail. Uh, basically what you're learning is how to use matplotlib and plot everything you want uh, in Python. There are uh, basically also each of the of those courses of those five courses consists of like four or five weeks. Uh, so in general, if you are taking them, it should take you up to half a year to do everything, uh, or five months if you are going one by one and doing everything uh, in order. Uh, and there are a couple of hours each week to do. So that's also something to f think about when doing that. Yeah. So that, that's basically four weeks. Uh, with basic techniques of about charting and also what's nice there's the whole discussion about uh, how to chart why do you want to chart and like what are the factors to consider and each of these techniques are actually uh, each of these courses are have something like that so even in the first course on introduction to data science you have this uh, you have the uh, this explanation on why you want to uh, do data science and like general ideas on like why, why do you want to do this thing so so that's really great um, then coming next is course number three it's applied machine learning in python and you're basically learning to do neural networks and maybe some some other standard techniques in machine learning uh, to extract insights from the data so if you were to have a look at it uh, that's the course uh, you're basically doing everything in scikit uh, framework so that's also something to remember. It's a standard thing to do. Uh, so you have supervised learning. You have a little bit of theory of how you evaluate models uh, and different biases, what you should look at for, how to evaluate whether the model is training well or not. All pretty standard, really good. N nothing to, to say more about it. Uh, 
Course number four is applied text mining in Python, so that's that's pretty original. There's nothing like that in the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, to which I will go in a minute. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Basically, it's more on the side working with text. Text usually tends to be a little bit more difficult than uh, doing just numerical data. Uh, because especially you need to understand context for text most of the time and they teaching you how to use NLTK libraries which is one of the most common for uh, using standard text manipulations I think that that should be somewhere here um, NLTK yep yeah, NLTK framework um, for uh, for text manipulation so again this is I guess uh, yeah in starting with like basic regex express finding expressions and doing just cleaning of text but then it goes into going into nltk uh, text classification so there's a, a little bit of techniques which are also standard in just in any machine learning task like super vector machines naive bias of course uh, so again four weeks uh, and that's the course number four uh, then the last course, the course number five, is Applied Social Networks, so that's also pretty original. Uh, and it's really interesting because they actually start with studying like general, uh, so yeah, let me look, yeah, this is the, the course. They also start with like studying general, general framework for studying networks, which is graph theory and give you an introduction to graph theory and uh, bipart graphs and stuff like that. So it's also interesting from the mathematical perspective on how to do it. And then uh, there's a little bit of theory again. And I think they're going into actually doing something with modeling that in Python in the next uh, next two weeks. Uh, so that's also interesting. Yeah. So I wanted to, to mention this uh, because let's now go back and compare this course, these five courses, uh, to IBM Data Science. Uh, IBM Data Science Professional Certificate from IBM. Uh, nine courses, as you can see. Uh, Basically, the, the, when it comes to ratings, you, this is 4.6. I think that the rating for uh, applied data science was 4.5. Yeah, so that's not a huge difference. It's basically the same. A little bit more students have taken IBM, but that's, of course, changing with time. Um, so let's have a look at this course uh, quickly because I have reviewed that in another video if you're more interested in IBM data science. Uh, basically, if you were to compare it, you see that this is more basic. Like the first course is even what is data science and it's basically only about talking why you should study data and what you can get out of that. Uh, then basic tools for data science, me methodology, and then it starts with Python for data science. So basically the first four courses are covered in the first course of uh, course applied data science from University of Michigan. But then again, if you're just starting with data science, then IBM data science is definitely a better choice uh, if you haven't taken any Python courses, if you're not feeling comfortable with programming in Python. Uh, and then it comes into manipulation of data and plotting, visualization. So as you can see, seven courses are basically covered in the first two, uh, maybe three courses of uh, University of Michigan applied data science. And then the last two are machine learning with Python and the project. So machine learning with Python is also probably covered in uh, applied machine learning to some extent. Uh, actually, this thing I, I think this goes deeper here in IBM. But then uh, on the applied data science from Michigan, you have also applied text mining uh, course, which is not non-existent in IBM, and applied social networks. Uh, which is also very interesting and there's nothing done around that in IBM data science. So all in all, uh, those courses are to some extent complementary and probably if I were to take them from the very beginning, I would take first the IBM and then maybe not the whole specialization, but a couple of courses like the, the last two free courses from Applied Data Science. Or if you have already taken courses in Python, then Applied Data Science from the start, it would be much faster, much better uh, to do that. So. This is the general uh, idea of what's going on with that course. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any feedback. Um, I'm always looking for like more interesting educational materials that I can cover. And in the future, I plan on reviewing more courses from Coursera, uh, especially there are a couple more courses for, for, from University of Michigan, a couple more courses from IBM. That would be interesting to cover. Uh, 
courses from Yale and also in general I want to go through the list of top 10 courses that are available right now on Coursera because uh, those seem probably the most interesting right now but I will also try to uncover like you know like very niche courses that maybe are like hidden gems and look at that uh, because I like comparing different educational offers that that is out there on Coursera. So thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.